Hello YouTube, it is Livin here, and today I'm actually bringing you guys a quick little video about my opinions on Autodesk Maya 2016. Now, by no means am I a professional in any way, shape, or form in anything regarding graphic design. I'm just going to give you guys my basic opinion of uh, using Blender for a while, you know, to make crappy looking things, because I know I'm not an artist. And then switching over to Maya to learn, uh, going to college, I'm learning uh, 3D modeling uh, for a side thing. I want to focus on being a programmer, but for my own thing, on my own side, my own personal projects, I want to be able to model my own things without needing a graphic designer to do that for me. So I was going to take Maya to help improve on my skill, uh, not Maya, uh, take some modeling classes, uh, what I'm studying under. Uh, computer science and it was just a course that goes along with it which was 3d modeling I'm going to be doing the programming and I've already read through the entire programming booklet already and the class has literally just started yesterday and I've already read through all of it it's like yep alright I know all of this already just had a touch up on the syntax for the application I'll be writing in because I usually use unity but this time I want to be using uh, visual studio console base so I needed to figure out what the uh, syntax and uh, different directories were so I could uh, use that and what have you but then I also have the modern class going on at the same time and the first thing I noticed when switching from blender and blender this is like just like um, a work process thing is that in blender you use the middle mouse button clicking to uh, rotate around an object and you can also use the number pad to actually do a quickly change to different viewports viewports I mean so hitting one goes to the front hitting three goes to the right side hitting nine goes to the left side and hitting seven goes to the top and I use this like all the time if I had a reference image for example uh, in blender to be working off of I don't know if you can do this in um, Maya but you probably can in all honesty and see if I could find something uh, Pictures, can I? Um, uh, hard drive A, pictures. Um, should have a reference model sheet one. Okay, yeah, so if I was modeling off of this image, for example, um, even though this is super off centered right now, it was just, yeah, it's good enough for this view, anyways. So, say I was modeling off of this. And then um, I was modeling the front. Okay, the front looks all uh, nice and dandy. Now I want to go to the side view, and I could do that really easily. However, in Maya, if I wanted to change to a front view, I'm going to have to hit the space bar. And then I want to need to move my cursor to one of the different views. Um, so I think right now this is the front view for the thing I was working with. This is the front view here. And that's just a lot of extra work to actually switch between views. Another thing is in Blender, if I'm already locked in a viewport, I can legit just easily use the mouse button to actually rotate out of that without any qualms or problems or anything. However, in Maya, if I wanted to go back to like the free aspects ratio to look around and everything like that, I would actually say if I was in front view, I wouldn't be able to just click and drag it around. Orthographic views cannot be tumbled, which apparently that's what this is, tumbling and I have to manually go to the tumbling viewport apparently and I actually honestly don't like that it's a big hassle and I really don't want to deal with it it takes a long time to do this but I can say that Maya does have something right about displaying the viewports quickly all of them all at once quickly blender you actually have to manually uh, pull up all the viewports if you want to do that but Maya has it right in this sense by hitting spacebar so I wish Blender, Blender might actually have this feature in a plugin or something, but I wish if you like here would hit a hotkey, say like function one, which apparently brings up um, however the opening is something or something, using like some uh, key, it's going to like split everything off in different directions, but instead in Blender you actually have to manually like drag open the all of these different things right here and then manually um, change, which this is that and this. So like this would be the free port. This would be top, uh, front, right side. And I think you'd mainly be using this for like animation or something. Not really modeling because you kind of want to focus on one thing at a one time. I guess. I don't know. I, I don't model. 
Well, you have to manually do that, which I can I can actually understand uh, people not really uh, liking to do if they come from Maya, and Blender could add something like that if they do. I actually don't know about it as of right now, so that's all I can really say about that. And then for actually scaling, rotating, and everything, Blender uh, uses uh, hotkeys to do uh, general ro rotation. So if I was in the front viewport, I was to rotate. It's going to rotate on that axis, only on that axis. And if I actually wanted to lock axis, is after I hit the uh, rotate button, which is R by default, I'd actually hit. Um, I'd actually have to hit. Um, an axis key to change the axis. So that right now that's on the x-axis. Um, do it for y and now for z. And you have to manually do it that way. However, in Maya, which is the same thing in Unity, and Unity probably took the standard from that, is that you can hit uh, Q for selection tool, W for uh, positioning, E for rotation, R for scaling, and there might be something else, but I don't feel like dealing with it. And you can do the general scale like this or scaling in a certain direction uh, like so uh, without too much problem, very specific. And I could see why people would like doing that. Uh, however, in Blender, if I want to be modifying a shape for, um, for any reason whatsoever, so I was like to be modifying this, if I was to make this wider on the x-axis, like, I would probably just go into edit mode and actually like move the vertices that I actually need to move to actually do that and might be doing the same thing in Maya and honestly I don't know because I haven't been using it much I actually don't even know how to move individual and that's not that um, individual vertices yet I actually haven't even got to that point I just had to do this this thing looked like crap earlier and I had to put it all back together that's what I had to do and just from like just these little things I really don't like it and then switching to wireframe mode is easier in Maya which is in the 4 key and switch it into wireframe mode Now this looks way more professional than this wireframe mode always does that for like everything actually no blender is also easy for wireframe mode you had you hit the Z key but on Maya, you hit the 4 key and whatever and then to ed, go into edit mode for blenders tab don't know how to do that for Maya in all honesty so there's that so yeah, and from what I've gathered, a lot of people are saying Blender is better, and a lot of people are saying Maya is better. It's used; a, it's an industry standard, and people are explaining, "Oh yeah, they have like humongous teams and all of this and stuff." I'm like, oh well, yeah, Blender uh, Maya has a bunch of things. So with Maya, you can have one guy focusing entirely on making a model, then another guy focused entirely on rigging and everything like that. What Blender seems more of like um, an individual. Or like really small company of like ten or peak like ten people or so, and you just everyone does it on their own. Everyone, well, yeah, that's pretty much all I actually have to say about the Maya and Blender difference. As of right now, I'd still prefer Blender because I'm more used to it. Uh, my opinion may change as I use Maya more often uh, for my classes, but as of right now, just for like changing viewports and all that, it might be there some key somewhere but for right now preferring blender and changing viewports and uh, changing this I probably will be able to control uh, change the uh, tumble camera thing um, controls I'll definitely do that if I can but yeah that's pretty much all I have to say and I'm just gonna leave it out with this inside this cube right here staring at the origin point right there clipping it with the camera man yeah anyways guys hope you guys all did enjoy this really long and pointless video but anyways guys hope you guys all did enjoy the video for the second time it's love it then signing out